Hey guys, uh, this is a kind of a little practice run probably, but I'm driving down the road and I'm going to spend a couple of days with my father-in-law and, and my mother-in-law. And we're going to hunt a conghorn antelope in North Texas. And I'm about Little Rock, a little past Little Rock, Arkansas right now. I still got about six, seven more hours to go. So I, I've had it on my mind to do a little series on hearing God. Um, I've done some of this before and I've shared it with some of you in my group, uh, especially in Latvia. Uh, did a little teaching on hearing God. <clears throat> but I believe it's, it's critical that we learn how to hear God, that we don't take for granted the need and the importance of hearing God. Many people today probably still believe you can't really hear God today, but it, it's not like it used to be. When I first started, I, I met people that just did not believe that God still spoke. He had only, he has finished the Bible and the scriptures have spoken and there's no active speaking of God. And then I met some kooky people that thought God said this and said that and it was just weird stuff or, or sinful stuff. So the balance is is that God is speaking always. And it's up to us to tune our hearts into hearing. And there are some parameters. I mean, God's not going to contradict the Scripture. He's not going to tell us to do anything that's, that's out of line with His Word. He might contradict our interpretation of the Scripture, but He's not going to con contradict His character or the Scripture or anything like that. So you need to know the Scripture. Um, you need to recognize that, that there are many voices, and the devil masquerades as an angel of light. So, you know, depending on what somebody's hearing, you know, it may or may not be God. But you also need to know that the counterfeit is only there because the real is there. And God is speaking. And in my 30 years or so of interacting with the Lord, I have heard God speak, act, speak uh, I mean, many, many, many times. Now, there have been times that I thought God had said something or maybe said something, and it, and it wasn't. So hearing God is a little bit of an art. Um, it's not, for, for, for me at least, it's not what I thought it would be before I came to walk with the Lord. It, it's not, I've never heard an audible voice. I don't, with my eyes, see angels and see visions with my eyes. I do see visions, but they're with my, with my imagination, not with my eyes. So what I, what I wanted to do, um, because I believe, I believe that if we're going to be functional in the kingdom, to bring the kingdom to earth, we need to be able to operate in our assignment. In order to know what our assignment is, we've got to hear God in some kind of way. I believe that we all are predestined before we were ever born, God already had laid out destinies for us to do. Things for the kingdom, for Him, they've already been laid out. And it's up to us to tune in. But He's, he's showing us. And we are amazing. We are His children. We are princes and princesses in the kingdom. We're co-heirs with Christ. And we are the body of Christ as a church. So just like Jesus only did what he saw the Father doing, only said what he heard the Father saying, that's our model, and that's the way the Lord wants us to live, and it's possible. Not only did Jesus say it was possible, but if you look at the lives of the early church, it was happening frequently, not just with the apostles, but, but it was happening within the early church and believers, uh, deacons, and, and all that kind of stuff. So hearing God is critical. The Bible says seek earnestly spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. Now, prophecy is basically hearing God and telling somebody else what God said. Uh, that is one way to hear God, is to be prophesied to. But what I'm going to do is kind of go through very briefly each of the common ways. And if you want to 
learn how to hear God better, which I think is super important. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful. All right, so stay tuned for part one.